But first, I'm absolutely delighted now to be joined by uh, Jonathan Bagger, who, as you know, is the APS's uh, new CEO. Jonathan, welcome. Well, thank you so much. It's really a delight to be here with you today. Jonathan, you've picked such a, uh, an interesting time to decide to become the APS's uh, CEO. What do you think are some of the key challenges that you perceive face the physics community today? Well, my goodness, uh, you're right. It seems that everything is coming to a head all at once. Really, it's a time of great change for society, but also for science. It's also a time then of great stress. And so in some sense, it's uh, my responsibility with the American Physical Society to help the physics community through that period and emerge to a better place on the other side. I mean, I look at looking around me, I see a call for social justice, definitely accelerating effects of climate change, a global pandemic, and frankly, political instability in the world. And so all of these problems are going to require long-term, multidisciplinary, multi-generational solutions, fact-based solutions. And I think physicists have an important role to play in that process. So when you, as you come to the, the helm of the APS, one of the things I know about the APS is you're always uh, considering your strategic direction. So what are some of the priorities that you have for the APS? Well, looking forward, I think really our job is to emerge from this pandemic stronger than before. And so really what we're looking at is ways of strengthening both APS, but also the physics community. And that really has multiple dimensions. One is certainly a focus on inclusion. That means not, uh, of course, including people, inviting people into physics, people who haven't been invited in before. But it means uh, also looking outwards and broadening what we mean by physics and broadening who we collaborate with so that we can really form multidisciplinary collaborations to tackle these pressing problems and global collaborations because the problems themselves span national borders. One of the things that uh, we talk about quite a lot when we come to the APS is diversity and, and how you can uh, encourage uh, diversity in physics and uh, science more, more, more generally. How important is that? Well, of course, diversity is central to what we do. The problems that we as physicists are addressing are difficult. We need people of all, of all uh, perspectives from all areas of the world, from all uh, racial and uh, gender groups in order to, to be working together to address these problems. We need different perspectives. And so at APS, we're thinking hard about that issues of how to build a more diverse and equitable physics community. And part of that lies in changing the culture of physics itself. And so this year we are actually pulling together people which are, are addressing not only uh, uh, issues of uh, 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 race and, and, and gender, uh, uh, but also actually of issues connected to ethics and professional behavior so that we can look at how we do physics as well as what we do in physics. Jonathan, my, my, my uh, final question in, in, in a way is we've talked about a lot of the challenges, you know, and we can have interview after interview at the moment about uh, challenges. Uh, but what are some of the scientific achievements, recent scientific achievements that you think we should be celebrating? Many of the achievements that should be being celebrated are, are, are being presented at this very March meeting. Uh, uh, and so uh, I'm looking forward really with great anticipation to seeing the uh, results presented here. But really, to my mind, one of the lessons of the past year has been the degree to which physics is fundamental to the sciences. Physicists around the world have collaborated and cooperated with people in neighboring fields to address the pandemic. Physicists from around the world have collaborated to design a new ventilator that went from concept to emergency use authorization in less than two months. And so we've, we've learned as a community that when we put our minds together, we can address issues that are critical for the future of humanity. Jonathan, thank you ever so much indeed for uh, joining us. We, we really appreciate you taking the time and, and hopefully before long we can, we can meet you in person. So, so thank you very much. Look forward to it. Thank you.